Yeah. Spending time with that child, looking that child in the eye and singing to that child, making sure that when the child cries, that she tends to the child. Come on, somebody, shine amen here. Yeah. Uh, if that's just the way uh, mothers are. When the child needs to be changed, she runs quickly and makes sure that the child is changed when the child needs to be changed. Are y'all here with me here? Hallelujah. That's how mothers operate. Uh, mothers have a, a key discernment to yeah. hear the cries of their baby and they know their cry a mile away and they know what cry means what. If there's a cry of emergency, an urgent matter, the, the mother understands that cry. How many mothers in the house knows what I'm talking about? They know a particular sound or something is not right with my baby because my baby's never cried like that before. So should the church be in the world. We should understand the sinner. We should understand the people on the outside. Come on here. We should understand their cry. We should understand when they need to be changed or when they need to be shifted. You're not talking to me in the room. We've got to understand the shift and produce the shift. Come on. Can we say that? Understand the shift and produce the shift. Lean on your neighbor and say, where's the shift now? Where's the shift now? So we've got to make sure that if we're going to be an apostolic assembly, we've got to make sure we build trust in the people we serve. Amen. Like mothers have trust in their child. Amen. The children know who to cry to. Yes. Uh -huh. Y'all not talking to me here. Amen. When a father beats a child, the child knows to run and go to mommy. <laughs> Y'all not here with me. Amen. Run to mommy. The church should be that running space where people can run to and we nurture them like a mother nurtures the world, mm -hmm. her baby, Amen. her world. How many of y'all know the world out there is our job as an apostolic church to build trust for them? Amen. You know why people don't come to church? Because they don't trust y'all. Right up, sir. I can't get no help in this single high Presbyterian Catholic church. I know everybody's like Catholic, like, yeah, because y'all acting like y'all not talking. <laughs> we might as well go, Amen. No, sir. Because ain't nobody talking to me now. It's quiet in here. Somebody shout amen. amen. They don't trust us. That's why they don't come around. Because when they come around, all they see is a whole bunch of hypocritical, lying folk, gossiping folk, jealous folk, envious folk, malicious folk, people that got their eye on other people's chip. Y'all not talking to me in here. They don't trust you because they don't even trust you around their man. So you got to be, y'all, uh y'all, uh oh y'all, y'all, it's quiet. And so the reason why the world wow. won't come in is because they have not built a trust like an infant is supposed to trust the mother. Amen. Amen. So where's the church? Amen. And where's the trust in the church? Wow. I can't even trust you because when I come around, you don't even know how to properly greet me. You don't even I, you don't even know how to say hi to me. You, you're so consumed with your own agenda, you don't know when somebody else is hurting. Where's the trust? Come on here. Mothers have learned an art of making sure that they deny their own self. They won't eat so that their babies can eat. They're not talking to me in the house. They'll lie about being hungry so that you can eat. Y'all not talking to me in the house. They know they hear their stomach growling, but they'll make sure they say, I'm good, baby. You can have this sandwich while they eye the sandwich on the side because they know they're hungry, but they want to make sure their babies eat. Why is the church not like this? Why is the church not in knowing their own selfish deception? And making sure that others eat even when you're hungry. Apostolic churches are supposed to be that way. Somebody shout amen in the house. Amen. Mothers will not only build trust, but they have patience with their child. Apostolic churches, we need to be like that woman who defeated the dragon with patience. Y'all are talking to me in the room. Don't act like you had it all together. I bind the spirit of amnesia in you that made you forget how long it took you to pray. 
story. How long it took you to fast. How long it took you to stop lying. How long it took you to still stop cussing. Y'all not talking to me in the room. We got to be patient with our children knowing we were once children too. You want folk to grow as fast as you grow when you forgot it took you a long time to grow and you're still growing and you're still in the tutelage of the Holy Spirit. Why are y'all looking at me like you're angry this morning? Where is your patience? Oh, I don't like her because she too stink. Do you forget that on Tuesdays you stink? That's why you don't come to church. Sometimes our attitudes are so messed up. Sometimes our attitudes and our composures are so bad that we don't even want to come around people. But then when other people are trying, you're looking at her like, oh, why she came to church today? She might as well have stayed home. When you know deep down inside that there are days you stay home because you're not in the mood and because you ain't happening today. Why is it so quiet in this church? And so people have patience with themselves, but won't have patience with others. The apostolic church needs to have patience with the sons and daughters that are emerging and coming on the scene. Can I get a woo-woo from everybody? So if you don't have patience, then you're not a part of an apostolic assembly. The Bible says that we must be long suffering. Long suffering means to have patience. Teaching a child the quality of patience could help instill in him a feeling of independence and accomplishment. Teaching children what it means to be patient. The Bible says, They that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. They will mount up with weakness.